Let's compare circulation in non-human animals. Circulation in animals is the distribution of nutrients absorbed by the digestive system along with gases and wastes. Important nutrients, gases, and wastes that must be circulated or transported include food, water, oxygen, and carbon dioxide. Simple animals only require a gastrovascular cavity or just simple diffusion for circulation. Several methods of circulation in animals include diffusion, use of the gastrovascular cavity, an open or a closed circulatory system. Diffusion, such as in the hydra, is just the movement of oxygen, food, and waste across a plasma membrane. Hydra can also circulate water into and out of the body through this gastrovascular cavity, shown here. Simple animals only require this cavity or diffusion for transport, as I said before. More complex animals used open or closed circulatory systems. Open, in an open circulatory system, for example, such as the arthropods, like the grasshopper or a fly, these organisms, they have quote unquote blood that does not flow in defined blood vessels. Instead, their organs are continually surrounded by something called hemolymph, Hemolymph is analogous to fluids and cells that flow through the body in the form of blood in higher order mammals. In closed circulatory systems, however, blood flows in vessels known as veins, arteries, and capillaries. Annelids, or earthworms, for example, have a closed circulatory system which allows for blood to throw through a circuit of tubes Blood can flow in loops or circuits, and these can be simple to complex. Also, the pump itself can vary. They can vary from having two chambered hearts in fish to three chambered hearts in amphibians and four chambered hearts in birds and mammals.